and Stingray Tom Slor to and another deeper dive into the archive. This is the second video about the old Naval Training Center located near downtown Orlando. After a brief introduction, I'll be playing a 7-inch record that has clips of the sounds of training that came with a training memory book named The Rudder. I've organized the images in a sort of progression from the induction of the new recruits, their training, lots of images of marching, the various facilities of the NTC, and recruits visiting Central Florida attractions including Rainbow Springs, SeaWorld, Cypress Gardens, Gatorland, and Disney World. I finish up with various ads published in tourist publications. As I mentioned in the first video, which you don't need to watch before watching this one, the Naval Training Center was one of the more unusual tourist attractions in Florida. Every Friday morning there were graduation ceremonies which were open to the public. They were even promoted in tourism guidebooks. The Navy even doubled down on the attraction aspect by boldly painting their water tower with the name Navy World. For longtime Orlandoans, this was pretty funny, though it's unclear if the Navy understood the humor. See, in the early 1970s, Orlando became the home of Walt Disney World and SeaWorld. Next, just down the highway, another large attraction known as Circus World was built. Soon, the area had worlds of lasers, shells, bargains, fleas, horses, carts, and the Speed World Raceway in Bithlow. Yes, that makes 11 worlds in the greater Orlando area, each of them being an attraction or store of some sort. Enjoy the recording and the photos from several graduation books as well as a number of postcards. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're pleased to have a large number of families and guests of our graduating recruits with us today. The young men and women graduating today have completed... This the is the big day in the life of Navy recruits at Orlando. Proof of what they have accomplished. Graduation. The last time they will be called recruits. These are the newest men and women of the Navy. But this is the end of our story. The beginning was a Navy gray bus at the Orlando Jet Porter bus station. Apprehension and anticipation of what was to come. Well, the recruiter made it sound pretty good. Uh, Want to get some schooling. I'm thinking, what am I doing here? <laughs> what are we going to do when we first get here? You're thinking about what's going to happen. I've been waiting for this day, and I don't know if I like it so far. <laughs> but it doesn't take long to find out what you're supposed to do. The Navy has a carefully outlined plan that starts now at the receiving center of the Recruit Training Command. The command will be referred to as recruits from here on out. You're presently assigned to the Recruiting and Processing Facility of the Recruit Training Command. Now you'll be assigned to this facility anywhere from two to five days. With medical and dental examination, get your military haircuts, taking classification tests, you'll be issued and fitted for your uniform, doing a lot of things that are essential. This is the longest night, and the shortest. Before the sun comes up, there are things to do. Tired recruits eat and begin their first week. One of their first benefits is a free haircut. The barbers are civilian yeah. professionals who know exactly how to give a haircut that will pass Navy inspection. I'm a try harder. I'm a wash it, comb it, brush it, grease it, everything I can do to it. Even rub it at night. I'm going to uh, make it grow this back. I came in with a beard and a mustache on hair and uh, now I'm completely bald. You take this to all that time to grow your hair and a few seconds for it to be gone. Then uniforms are issued. Beautiful. All for working, none for looking great downtown. But who's going downtown? Everybody's going swimming in a magnificent oversized pool. The instructors find out if you can swim. If you can't, they teach you. Your first water safety and survival class. You will get others during the course of your training, but this one is crucial to the last. All right, everybody, all right, everybody, back down. A lot of things happen this week in RIF. A new recruit is indoctrinated in naval history, military drill, and given a series of classification tests. You get shots. Some hurt, some don't. Meningitis, adenoviruses, take all their allergies. 
Got allergic penicillin, chicken feathers, pet you name it. You even learn how to brush your teeth all over again. At least once a year and a periodic uh, dental checks, they can reduce uh, dental decay up to about 64%. This is what By the end of the week, you've been eased out of civilian life and into military life. Then comes commissioning, the day you are assigned to a company. Morning, gentlemen. Morning, sir. At ease, take your seats. I'd like to take this opportunity to officially welcome you to the Navy. This morning you're here to be commissioned as companies and be assigned company numbers. Now, these numbers are going to remain with you, and of course you're going to be closely associated with them during the next nine weeks of training. In the weeks ahead, you literally spend every hour together asleep or awake, and other members of your company become your closest friends. You go everywhere together. And in recruit training, when you go anywhere, you march. You march to classes like career guidance. Now, we have five separate types of discharges in the Navy. And the character of each discharge will be determined by your character Don't you or your love it. Going to classes, don't you just love it. Well, they have uh, academic classes for ships, aircraft, and weapons, orientation jobs and training, and naval history. That's their four basic subjects, plus they get a little bit of self-improvement, uh, health and hygiene, and uh, stuff like this to round out their uh, academic curriculum. And then they have the military. Side. Racial relations. This isn't usually what happens. If somebody starts using these words against you, what usually happens, you turn around and break article 128. <laughs> Assault. <laughs> Or a class in safety. What I'm saying is don't check for that leak with your hand because you're liable to lose it. Out of your spot. And where do you learn to do all that marching? Out on the grinder. That's where. All right, hand hut. Inspection. Arm. And on the grinder, you also get your morning exercises. Jumping jacks, wood chops, push-ups, running place. This gets you in shape for such things as the JFK test and the obstacle course, lovingly referred to as the nature trail. Go up, touch the top of the pole and come back down and do not slide down. It could prove to be disastrous. After the rope climb comes through. One place where the young men of the Navy can meet the young women of the Navy is in the mess hall. Chow time is co-ed. Where else can you get good food and have breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a different lady every day? Not without paying for it, anyhow. It's great. <laughs> it's good to talk to them, yeah. You know, I like being near the young ladies. Free food. Everything's free, so I love it. Free clothes, free room and board. You name it, it's free. I love it. But one of the places you don't particularly like to meet is in the galley. Because when 9,000 people eat, somebody has to serve them and do the dishes. Um, just washing pots and pans. Just scrubbing these pans, putting them on the tray over there. Pots and pans is all I know. This is one of the duties of ship work week or service week, along with such things as messenger or sentry duty. Then there are the good times of training, the barracks. There's no place like home. Spit and polish and a lot of conversation. About what? About the Navy, of course. Man, when they said the Navy wife is a new way, they meant it. Helps you get your stuff together. Get your head together. When you get out of here, you'll be able to do anything you want. You have the, the head to do it. Most of us, when we came in, didn't know what to do. On Sunday, there's the Ch Navy, especially for recruits. It's a turned on chapel, and in addition to regular services, the chaplains hold contemporary services. Church, of course, is voluntary. Some people would have a hard time believing that you were expressing your love with all your applause. 
and your charity. If there is a generation on earth that goes about love, it is you. Somewhere about the middle of training, there's a picnic at Lake Baldwin with volleyball, paddle boats. Telling me this morning they were surprised. They thought we were just going to come down here and have a hamburger and just sit around and look at one another. And they didn't know it was going to be like this. This gives recruits a chance to get out and relax a little bit and get out from under the pressure of their daily inspections and the daily routine. And uh, they use the telephones and they just run around and more or less do what they want to for a few hours and, and just basically get away from the pressure. And lots of food and soft drinks. They just jump in there and anybody who thinks he can cook just jumps in and gets with it. They burn a few and eat a few raw. They don't really care, though. I don't think that they probably eat them if they weren't even cooked. By now, new dress uniforms have been issued and fitted. The training goes on. Gas instruction and the gas chamber. All right, once I tell you to take that gas mask off, take the gas mask off. The time that you'll be inside the gas chamber will depend on it. How long it takes everybody get your gas mask off? I don't consider how long you've been inside here until after the last man's got his gas mask off. All right, go ahead, take the gas mask off. Come on, come on. Yeah, get him over there. Come on. Get him over there. Come on. Get him over there. Get him over there. Get him over there. Get him over there. Small arms and the firing range. And firefighting. Flames beat down in the sides of the compartment. As you move into the compartment, as you get in there and the flames are beating down towards the back of the compartment, we're going to go into the gooseneck match. And then comes the big day. Graduation. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're pleased to have a large number of families and guests of our graduating recruits with us today. The young men and women graduating today have completed a thorough and comprehensive training program designed to smoothly affect their transition from civilian life to military life. Their first few days were spent in our in-processing facility where they received their recruit haircut and uniforms. The recruits were then indoctrinated in the basics of Navy life. This included General Lawrence. Please rise for the invocation and remain standing for the national anthem. Recruit training for these women and men is finished. It has ended. They now enter a new life. May they know strength, loyalty, love, and concern for themselves and for fellow human beings. Amen. <laughs> These are the sounds of recruit training that you'll want to remember. You men will be referred to as recruit from here on out. We'll go back. A few seconds for it to be gone. Your first water safety and survival class. Water, sir! 
At ease, take your seat. Side left, man. Excuse me, Apple. You turn around and break article 128. Inspection. Fire. Let's see job attached. Take care. Going to class with John. Go up, touch the top of the pole, and come back down, and do not slide down. It could prove to be disastrous. I like being near the young lady. Free food. Everything's free, so I love it. Free clothes, free room and board. You name it, it's free. I love it. Um, just washing pots and pans. Just scrubbing these pans, put them on the tray over there. Pots oh, and okay. pans. Uh -huh. <laughs> They just jump in here. Anybody thinks he can cook just jumps in and gets with it. There was a long haired man that lived in Palestine a few thousand years ago. And once I tell you to take that gas mask off, take the gas mask off. The compartment as you move into the compartment you get in there and the flames are beating down if you ever forget what an important part of your life it really was just listen to this record it will furnish many memories for years to come Thank you for watching another of my videos. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to learn more about Florida's tourism history. Stingray Tom's Florida, traveling through time around the Sunshine State.